Hi guys, uh, on today's video, we're looking at NASDAQ annual state. And then I'll start with NASDAQ on the daily chart and see if we can get like some entries. So we have this high point here and we have the lowest point around this area here. Yeah. So it means that we are working with this price action around this point for us to get like entries. So previously we had this mass psychology activation, as you can see here, we broke structure to the upside. And then I'll just remove this one here and then draw this ascending channel to the upside, just like this. So we have this ascending channel and then I'll draw the 90% rule also, of which is around this point here. And then on the four hour, we have some type of a double top around this area. I was expecting to get like a double top around this area here, whereby the market will just push up up until this point. And then after getting that double top, then that is when we are going to sell off just like this. So we are currently moving correctively in this area around this area here i don't know if we will just correct up until we reach that double top and then we get like some type of continuations for us to push back to the downside so uh i'll just analyze each and everything and see if we can get like those type of movements and then let's switch to a two hour chart and then on the two hour chart we have this ascending channel around this point here Make sure that I'm catering for each and everything. And then what I'll do is that I'll rein this uh, trend line to the back a bit. And then just try and make sure that I'm catering for the current market structure of which is this one here. And then we have some type of a pattern within a pattern around this area here, just like this. Just like this. So this is what we have at the moment. And then you can see it from the left that we have this impulse down, corrective move, impulse down, the corrective move to initially push to the downside. So what you can do on your analysis, you can just do this. You know that you expect the, the double top formation. You expect the double top formation or you expect a clear push to the downside of which that will happen around this point. And then you get like, uh, let's say maybe a corrective move we push to the downside and then you get a six to eight hour tight flag just because we also get like tight flags on NASDAQ and your USDT. We get them all the time. And then you have your sell stop just below here. And then your stop loss is just above. Your sell stop is a few pips below. Make sure that it's a few pips below. And then you know that you're targeting the lows around this point here for about 8%. So that is, this is how I'm going to take like this entry. And then looking left also, guys, at the top of the structure, you have this mini double top formation around this area here, of which this can be a missed entry for me just because it's in my trading plan for me to take like this double top area around here, then my stop loss is just above. So uh, that is how I'm looking at NASDAQ. And then another scenario that I can look at is this one here, whereby we get a break of structure a break of structure around this area here. Let's say we get like a break of structure. This is a zone. And then guys, ne, uh, those who are confused with which strategy I'm using, I'm using SMC and then I'm also using uh, patterns and your Falcon. So whenever you're joining the mentorship, just know that you can choose from both. You choose SMC or you choose uh, Falcon or patterns with support and resistance. Then I'll teach you how to do like your things. So it depends on you, which, which strategy you want to use. So this is the area that I'm talking about. And then let's say you have this break of structure, come back, retest, and then you take your cell just above that point, And then your stop loss is just above this area here. So this is how I'm going to take like NASDAQ. And then looking at USDT, let's look at USDT on the daily time frame. So what I'll do is that I'll just refresh the charts. And then we have this high point here of which it was a mass psychology activation. We have this lowest point. 
and then I'll cater for this highest high around there. And then as you can see, we are still correcting in this area, but it seems like momentum is kicking in into the markets around this area here. So of which is a good thing. And then let's switch to the four hour. And then on the four hour, what I'll do is that I'll just pattern separate each and everything just because this is a pattern on its own. This is a pattern on its own. And then also around this point here, yeah, this is a pattern on its own. So I have to pattern separate each and everything so that I can just understand where the market is going. So we have this ascending channel around here, just like this. This is the ascending channel that we have around this area here. And then it seems like we have like a pattern within a pattern around this area here. So this is the pattern that we have here. And then around this area here, it seems like we have some type of an expanding pattern. And then this is a push down corrective move, push down, and then this is the corrective move. Then it means we are looking for those pushes to the downside or this one here. Just like this. And then let me just throw it up first. Just like this. And then we have a double top at the top of the structure, just like this. And then what we expect is for the market to clearly push to the downside with the same momentum that we had around this area here. From here to here. So you can have like your take profit around this area as your first take profit. And then your second take profit is at the lows. So you can just wait for this type of movement. And then we can have like a tight flag at the top of the movement. And then you can have like your sell stop loss just above this area. First target here, second target around this point here. So let's switch to the two hour chart. So on the two hour chart, same thing. We are still looking at the same thing. And then I can just draw out this area here just to make sure that everything is okay. And then we have the tight flag that I was talking about around this area here on the two hour chart. And then on the hour chart, you'll see it very nicely. It's a flat flag. As you can see around this area here, we have a flat flag like this. So we expect the same movement to happen around this area here. So that is it for today's video. And then I'll see you on another one.